Linear and progressive roll spiders. You do remember what I told y'all spiders at, right? And also what we have them. The spider is this red thing right here. This is a spider. You see that? That's the spider. There are two types of spiders. Linear and progressive roll. A linear spider has all the ridges the same size. Commonly using S SQ applications. All the ridges, these little ridges you see here, see that ridge there? Are all, let's see if I can get it to come on the camera. You see the ridges? In a linear spider, all the ridges are all the same height. The width between each ridge is all is the same. It's linear. Commonly used for SQ AO purposes, sound quality. A progressive spider, the ridges get increase in height and width as you move away from the force core, from the triple joint. The triple joint is where, let me see, make sure y'all see that. The triple joint is where the cone, you see that little black line with that red and the cone is where the cone the former and the spider connect. That's why it's called a triple joint. There's three things coming to a meet there. The top of the former, the coil, and the cone. In the progressive row, the ridges are getting are increasing in size as you move toward the back, the outer part of the basket. Progressive row spiders are commonly used for SPL. The reason why, because they, they allow for greater X max, greater extension. Remember from the other video, I told you that necessarily does not necessarily meet well. It does in a way. Uh, yeah, I'm really confused. It has a greater potential for SPL over a linear spider. Remember, box come in play. Because even with a high X Max subwoofer, if you put it in a ported application, the X Max only comes into play below tuning. The subwoofer's X Max only really gonna come into play below tuning because your port tune, what your port is tuned to, is gonna control how much the subwoofer moves. As you get closer to the port tuning, it's not gonna move that much. There's no need for the X Max. As you go below below tuning, the subwoofer is gonna excurge more. Hair tricks, moving up air. Not necessarily pressure. Sound pressure. What is pressure? Compacting. Force. When you're playing below tuning and using your subwoofer's progressive roll spider to move freely, you're not, even though you're moving freely, you're not, it's not concentrating air. You're depending on X Max and X Mechanical, and they're good for hair tricks. And moving a lot of air, uh, floating tiles and stuff like that. Once you get below tuning, a tuning and above pressure, pressure compacting with force. So, what subwoofer should you just pick for yourself? One with linear roll or progressive roll. Linear is commonly used for SQ. Progressive is used for SPL. But that's just one component to look at. You got to look at all the TS parameters as a whole to dictate what's the subwoofer that's best for you. Just know the difference between the two. Linear is most time used for SQ purposes and progressive roll is for greater X max SPL purposes. You say, well, I want SQ loud. Play with your enclosure. Or have someone build you a good enclosure. All right? Peace.